I'm Steve. Welcome to Hately Motorsport. Today you're going to learn something. It's maintenance day here at Hately Motorsport and number one on the maintenance list every week is to clean the injectors. Now, if you ever have a problem with one of these wingless sprints running, 99 times out of 100, it's going to be the injectors. The methanol just they don't like it. So, today I'm gonna to run you through what we do to modify them for methanol um, and cleaning them. I do this every week. And I'll show you why in a, when we're, a bit later on, why we do it every week. Now the injectors I use, and what I've found is probably the best, is they're just standard old VN Series 1 injectors. We do modify them slightly to run the methanol. They flow a bit more. From what I can gather, these have been the most reliable. That's it, six injectors. Now I've got the injectors out, we'll whiz them into work and I'll run you through what we do to modify them and um, the cleaning procedure that we do. All right, so here we are at work. You've got the injectors all set up in the flow bench. Let's run them through a flow cycle and see how they go. I don't know if you can see it there, but some of these patterns, the spray patterns aren't real good. That's good, not so good. No, not good, not bad. A little bit shabby. And there you go. That's telling you exactly what you need to know. Those fuel injectors have done one race meeting. So we're flowing as low as 70 cc's up to 93. So that's nearly a 30% difference in the flow rate of those injectors and that's only after one race meeting. So the, like I said earlier, the methanol really knocks them around. Every injector set that I get, doesn't matter who it's from, not only from my car, from other guys' cars as well, they all do this. They're all within about, look, minimum 10% variance on them um, when we get them. So I'll run them through the cleaner and then we'll retest them and hopefully they come up pretty good. Because I actually thought I had a set of unmodified injectors here, but I don't. So what I'll do is I'll show you what we've done to this one. So all that happens with these injectors is the pintle cap here unscrews. I've loosened this one already because I was smart. And in the end, we've got this tiny little plate with a tiny little hole drilled in the middle of it. Now the injectors, when we, when we get them, they have a, a, another plate with a smaller hole in them and we just replace them with these. We buy them in sets of six, taped to a piece of cardboard and away you go. Freshly modified, high flowing injectors, ready to go. So I will, uh, reinstall this one, um, put them in the cleaner, show you what we do to clean them, and we'll go from there. All right, now we've got these injectors all set up in the cleaner. Now all this cleaner is, is a, an ultrasonic cleaner. Um, the same thing the jeweler uses to clean your wife's wedding ring. So we set those on the poles. We give it, to, we'll start with 20 minutes. Now that's a horrible noise and everyone gets sick of that. So I'm gonna go over, I've got a wheel to strip while we're waiting for that. That's gonna go off the powder coaters. Um, so we'll come back in 20 minutes and we'll try it again. So that's what we were looking for. All really even. That's why we flow our injectors and clean them every race meeting. Now they're within a percent or two. Uh, we'll bang them back in and we'll see how it runs. Get 
switch. Make sure it's got some fuel pressure. that fired up if you need any advice about injectors give us a ring at Horsham Offroad or hit us up on Facebook or Instagram or YouTube in the comments below make sure you like the video share it subscribe to the channel We've got Portland this weekend Southern 500 Speedway in Portland good racy little track um, the first time I ever drove one of these wingless sprints was around that track and I love the joint haven't raced there for a season or so so it'll be good to get back there we'll see you then <laughs>